In this lesson, you will learn what the meaning of a line and a stanza are. So as you see in front of you right now, there is a poem. And the poem's titled, Saying Goodbye. To understand what a line and stanza are, you don't really have to read a poem to understand the meaning of a line and a stanza. We're first going to learn about what a stanza is. A stanza is like a paragraph. So when you're reading an essay, or a book, or the newspaper, ideas are clumped together in paragraphs. They are groups of ideas together with multiple lines, and they're separated by usually a space. Well, in poetry, it's the same thing. Ideas are grouped together with multiple lines, and they're separated by a space. So if you look at this poem in front of you, this right here is one stanza. It is a group of lines, usually about one idea or thought, and it's separated from other stanzas by a space. So as you can see, this poem has multiple stanzas. There's one stanza, two stanzas, three stanzas, four stanzas, and so on. So, each of these stanzas has multiple lines, and it is separated by a space. So just think of a stanza like a paragraph. Now, we also are talking about lines in a poem. Now, lines in a poem is just one straight group of words. So if we were to look at our first stanza, this group of words right here, that is one line. It's words that stretch across one line. So if I were to look at my first stanza, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in my first stanza, I have seven lines. And that is what lines and stanza are. It's very simple. You don't have to read a poem to figure out how many there are. You can look at it. And if we look at our second stanza, there's one, two, three, four lines. So if I were to say, go to the fourth stanza and the third line, you would say, okay, this is stanza one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm at the fourth stanza. And if I'm going to the third line, one, two, three. I am able to see that this is the third line of the fourth stanza. And that is what stanza and lines are. 